Where's Dam's warehouse then? It must be this one. Are you sure? Well, that's the way the sign's pointing. <laughs> Fair enough. Why are we here anyway? We're night watchmen, Barry. What night? Tonight. Dan said I can use his warehouse for my invention as long as we look after his parcel. What parcel is that then? Parcels will be delivered by two men, Ed and Fred. They should be here around about um now. Are you Ed and Fred? No, we're Fred and Ed. Oh dear, we're waiting for Ed and Fred. Ed and Fred, there you are. Hello. Hello. Delighted to make your acquaintances, gentlemen. And this gentleman is for you. Oh, what is it? Well, we're not entirely sure, but... But our good friend Dan the Van told us to be very careful with it. Oh, your friends are Dan the Van then, eh? Oh, yes. Would you mind signing here? Certainly. Ooh. What's it say? It's an ancient Egyptian vase, Barry, and Dan wants us to guard it with our lives. Why? It's hundreds of years old, and it's worth £200,000. You could buy a new one for less than that. It's the only one of its kind in the world, Barry. That's why it's worth £200,000. How much did you say? £200,000. That's a lot of money, Edward. It certainly is, Frederick. <clears throat> May I suggest we guard it for you? Why? Well, there's some very dodgy types around these days, you know. Good idea. Dan wants us to look after it, Barry. It's our duty. Very well, very well. But if anything happens to that vase... Worth £200,000... I expect he'll give you what for. What for? Precisely. Precisely. Now, don't forget... <coughs> what for? You inoperable fool! Oh, but Frederick, please don't shout. How was I supposed to know it's worth £200,000? We had it right in the palm of our hands. Oh, and now it's in the hands of those two idiots. Surely, Frederick, we must be able to recapture it. Precisely what I was thinking, Edward. That's a lot of money, and I want it all. We need a plan. That Egyptian vase will be ours. Ours. <laughs> Is that it? It's the only one of its kind in the world. I'm not surprised. Who'd want another one of those? Now, we'll have to put it somewhere we can keep an eye on it. Somewhere safe. <laughs> Perfect. Now to work. I've got a cloning machine to build. A what? Never you mind. You're the night watchman. Now get to work. OK. What a funny job. Fancy being paid to watch the night. I'm sure there's something useful I could be doing instead. Perfect. Needs a little adjusting, that's all. Hold. 
Who goes there? What are you doing? What happened? Be careful. Look where you nearly did. Sorry. What are you playing at, anyway? I got bored with being a night watchman, so I thought I'd guard the building instead. Oh, all right. Hey, I finished. Come and have a look. Voila! What do you think? Hey, it's brilliant. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. It's fantastic. Thank you. What is it again? It's a cloning machine. What's a cloning machine? Well, look, Barry, if you've got one of something and you want two, you take the one and make the two. I see. I'll demonstrate. Now, look, what I do here, I take one ordinary Viennese world. Yes. Right. Now, what I do, I place it in the before cabinet, like so. Right. Then I close the curtain and adjust the dials, like so. OK. Then I start it up, just like so. <laughs> now, if you'd like to take a look in the after cabinet. Hey! You've transported it from there to here. No, I haven't. I've cloned it. Look. <laughs> what do you think? Now we can have our cakes and eat them. Exactly. After you, Edward. No, 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 I insist. After you, Frederick. You see, Barry, it does all the work and we don't have to. Yeah. I'm feeling really full now. Me too. I tell you what, go make us a nice cup of tea. Okay. One lump or two? Six. The crowbar, Edward. The crowbar, Frederick. You try. what that noise was. It gave me the collie wobbles. In fact, I think I've still got them. I thought it was burglars breaking in. It was. Ah! <laughs> it's only Ed and Fred. Be quiet, you inutterable buffoons. Hold your tongue. Don't say a word. What word's that, then? What? You said don't say a word. I know lots of them. Just be quiet and tell us the whereabouts of that Egyptian vase. Don't tell them, Paul. Don't tell them what? That we hid it in that cupboard for safekeeping. Thank you. Hi, Barry. Hello. 
Oh, evening, evening. Haven't I seen your face somewhere before? No, it's always been on the front of my head. Oh, quick, they're coming back. In here. of Typhoon. Oh, One lump or two. Outnumbered. It's all done with mirrors. You may have won the battle, but you haven't won the war. Come on. Have they gone yet? You lot better hide. Paul's had enough scares for one day. Oh dear, oh dear. You. That was a close shave. You're right there. And there's nothing to stop Ed and Fred coming back for another go. We'll have to put our thinking caps on. It's no good. To guard a place this size, we need at least another three of us. What did you say? I said to guard a place this size, we need at least another three of us. Barry? Hello, hello, hello. Oh dear. Oh, this is ridiculous. We're arch criminals. So the best in the business. If we can't prize the small bars from the clammy grasp of those two imbeciles, we ought to throw in the towel. A second attempt is due. Come, Edward. Let's try again. You've been playing with my cloning machine, haven't you? We're going to have to pick the lock. Meanie, meanie, my... Oh, he said left. No, left. Barry one. Barry two. Barry three. Barry four. Now, I've given you all numbers to make life easier. Barry four, go and check all the windows. Barry three, go and check all the doors are locked. Barry two, go and set up a lookout post. Barry one, um, march up and down a bit. I'll go and check the back door. Slipped in that way. <laughs> Good job I've got my head screwed on. Right. I bet after all that hard work, they don't even come back. <laughs> Typical cowards. You see, that's the thing with bullies. Deep down, they're cowards. All they want to do is show off. If they were here right now, do you know what I'd say to them? Barry? Do you know what I'd say to him? No, what would you say? Um, I'd say, um, fancy a Viennese will. Oh, lovely. Where are they? They're just over there. Get them fast, Barry, quick. To you, Paul. Oh, to me. Oh, to you. Oh, to you. To me. Oh, to you. To me. To you. <laughs> I'll get them. Good idea. Tell you what, I'll check over here. Tell them by the wings, Frederick. Flour, eggs, and 
been well and truly battered. It's all gone very quiet out there. Get back, or the vase gets it. Go on! Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this really is the final straw. Oh, don't, Freddy, don't. I really thought we had a future. We've been us criminals for so long now, and this final little job would have bought us a mother's retirement. See what you've gone and done now? Nice little cottage in Brighton. Not much. But it would have been ours. <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Let's go home. And as for you lot, you should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> All the dreams have been shattered. So is Dan's vase. We're going to have to put them back together. I'm the only one again. No more clones. Dan's never going to accept this. Don't worry about it. Come with me. Here's one I cloned earlier, just to be on the safe side. Brilliant! I knew my machine would save the day in the end. Never mind. At least it's not the only one in the world now. The only reason it was worth all that money was because it was the only one of its kind in the world. Oh dear. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Hammer. Hammer. To work. To work.